I'm just gonna keep mine cute and light. People are just feisty, man. How does he not know? Okay, honestly. If my sister dated someone that I dated and didn't tell me, I would be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Being lying, B. So relationship done. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I look a mess right now. I know I've just woken up. I have lotioned, moisturized, whatever you want to call it, my face and obviously you guys have read the title but I am going to attempt to do a full face of makeup and something creative on my eyes with only Fenty Beauty products using her new cheek cream collection. So I have all 10 here, I will show you guys what every shade looks like but quickly if you guys can hear an echo it is because I'm currently on FaceTime to my best friend Latoya. Now something different because I feel like sometimes when you just hear one voice all the time, it can get pretty boring. So, what I've decided to do is while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to be reading out some of the confessionals that I asked you guys to send me in on my Instagram about a week or two ago now. And some of them are very juicy, but instead of me just reading out and being boring and you just hearing my voice, I decided to get some help via Latoya. So I've sent them all to her and she is gonna be reading them out so you guys can get my genuine reaction instantly. Every shade comes in a little box like this and when you open the box, they come in a little thing like this. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a tiny little mini palette. It's super cute though, guys. Colors are just popping. Like, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm absolutely obsessed. So I don't know how I'm gonna do the eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm really bad at eyeshadow. You guys have watched me do this in multiple videos. Um, but I'm gonna try. Order guys, we have number one is Fuego Flush. I love the word Fuego. Number two is called Petal Poppin. Petal Poppin. Ah, bitch. Number three is called Bikini Martini. It's like a vibrant pink. Number four is called Crush on Cupid. Strawberry drip, which looks a little something like this. Sit, oh, this one's nice. Daiquiri drip. Oh, I love a red. Number seven is called Drama Class. This is a bit of me. Number eight is called Summertime Wine. This is probably my favorite. I think this is the color that's more my type of skin tone. Number nine is called Cool Berry. And number 10 is called Rose Latte. I just feel like Rihanna knows what she's doing. I feel like, you know, everyone's getting at her for this R9 album, but she knows what she's doing. She's like, oh really? You want an album? I'm gonna come out with some blushes. Some multi-purpose blushes. Cause I'm about to use these for eyeshadows too. So don't, don't at me, it's just what's about to happen. The fact that there's such a variety, there's a bright purple, there's a bright red, but then there's nice subtle tones for like a natural looking blush. Like she just knows what she's doing. Like she really is just a queen. And if you don't, agree you can actually beef me in the comments i don't think so so far i've just moisturized my skin and that is it we are going to start with her true matte fenty beauty pro filter primer i love a matte i'm not gonna lie like i'm very much a mattifying person i am not really into the dewy look and i think that's because i naturally have quite um oily skin anyway so i like to matte it out oh by the way guys i don't rub things in too much like i like to pat and press in i have got into this habit of doing full face makeup without foundation anymore so um i actually just try and use concealer to cover any blemishes or dark spots and under my eyes i don't use foundation that much anymore i felt like it broke my skin out it just didn't really work with me. So I am using her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 390. The reason I use it for things like this is because one thing that I've noticed, and I don't know if anyone else has noticed this about Fenty products, but they oxidize. And when this oxidizes on my skin, it then works out to be the perfect shade. So I'm gonna take a beauty blender which I almost didn't have, um, and just literally go over my...
because I've used the concealer all over my face, I don't actually have a lighter concealer for under my eyes. So I'm gonna have to cheat and not use Fenty for this moment, but it's okay because we're gonna use the Fenty Concealer 180 brush to actually blend it out. What confession do I have? I'm just gonna keep mine cute and light, but uh, I have definitely in the past fancied um, an ex's brother. And no, can I just say it is not Danny because his little brother is like nine and we don't do that. So it's definitely not gonna be Danny's little brother before people start commenting like, oh my God, is it Danny? No, it's not. Um, it's just an ex from a while ago. Definitely fancy this brother. Definitely if I was a different person, would have dated his brother if given the chance, but I would never date a guy and his brother, but that's just me. I just, I just can't do it. I'm dating a girl and it's going really, really well, but I haven't told her that I'm a transgender. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm also not alone in the room. My cousin Ashton is in the room as well, so you're gonna hear multiple reactions. Oh my but gosh. that's um that's deep. I just feel like I have so many questions. Like, I feel like are you planning on telling that person? Like, like I'm just assuming that you've slept with that person. So I'm assuming that you know things have changed and like I'm, I'm keeping it quite vague in what I'm saying because the last thing I want to do is use the wrong terminology or the wrong phrasing and offend anyone so I'd rather just keep what I'm saying like really really vague but I'm just assuming based on if they've had sexual relations at this point that it's not known that they're transgender so how <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I don't even know what to say. I want to know how you're planning on telling. It has to be revealed soon. I feel like the bigger issue is going to be trust after that. 100%. Because there's, listen, if you're transgender, you're transgender. Like, it, like that's absolutely fine. But you can't be hiding that from me. Okay, right. So to start my eyes, um, I've put. Guys, I, I can't lie. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to go for like a rainbow eye. <laughs> I think like I'm just gonna go for a rainbow eye, but I don't really know how to apply creams. So, I'm just gonna go for it. And what we're not, oh, what we're not gonna do is judge me. Right, I don't know, we're just gonna go for it. So right now I'm gonna go in with number one, which is Fuego Flush in my inner corner. And, oh, shit. I wanna read this one in two parts. Okay. I'm dating the guy 10 years younger than me, and I don't know how to tell my family. You're dating a guy 10 years younger than you and you don't know how to tell your family. Hmm. Now she wants the plot twist. <laughs> I swear, if you're gonna tell me that like he's my brother or some crap like that, I'm actually gonna cry. Mm -hmm. Guys, I can't. He's 27. So how old does that make him, Jordan? <laughs> what? She's 27 and she's, he's... 17. I just feel like, I don't want to come across as like too judgmental, right? But some things genuinely just don't make sense to me. And this is one of them. Because I just feel like, I understand if you're attracted to men younger than you, like that's absolutely fine. That is what it is. I just feel like, like at 17, you need to let a 17 year old boy be like, and I say boy because he's a boy, not a man, you know? No, no and no. Like the idea of them being 17 and you 27, I don't understand where you met. I don't understand. That's a good point. Where did you meet? Where? What mutual friends do you have? Told us. I just need someone to make it make sense. And then, of course, you don't tell the parents because the, what parent is going to go, yeah, it's all right. Date my 17 year old son. I want to read this one in two parts. Okay. I'm dating the guy 10 years younger than me, and I don't know how to tell my family. This is the wrong brush for this. Hmm. Now, do you want the plot twist? <laughs> 
I swear, if you're gonna tell me that like he's my brother or some crap like that, I'm actually gonna cry. Guys, I can't. He's 27. So how old does that make him, Jordan? <laughs> what? <laughs> she's 27 and she's he's. Some things genuinely just don't make sense to me. And this is one of them. I understand if you're attracted to men younger than you, like that's absolutely fine. That is what it is. I just feel like, like at 17, you need to let a 17 year old boy be like, and I say boy because he's a boy, not a man, you know? No, no and no idea of them being 17 and you 27. I don't understand where you met. I don't understand. That's a good point. Where did you meet? Where? What mutual friends do you have? I just want to know details, to be honest. I just need someone to make it make sense. Then we have to break up because you're a liar. 100%. Because if we've been dating and I don't know you're 17, you've been lying, B. So relationship done. That's it. Our whole foundation on lies. Nah, cancelled. How do you know that their name is real? Nothing's real. Nothing is real anymore. Must mean that they have an open community. Okay, guys, I'm gonna um, wipe off my eyeshadow and start again. <laughs> this works yeah, really, really well lie. with powder. Well, she looks quite, she looks like she's of a decent age. This works really well with powder. We're just gonna start again, guys. I have a different idea and I'm gonna use that instead and it's gonna work. Okay, so here we go again. <laughs> Whatever I just tried to do clearly um, wasn't working. So we're gonna go again. All right, I'm 24. I've slept with 43 guys. And my partners asked me how many people I've slept with, should I lie? <sighs> I don't think you should lie. Cause like lying, you're gonna get caught out eventually anyway. I do feel like that's a hefty amount of people. <laughs> I just feel like it's a lot and like, it's not even in like, a, oh my God, that's so many people way. I'm just like, when? Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just curious as to when, like I'm 25 and my number is still very much in the low single digits. So I'm just wanting to know when you managed to sleep with 43. At the end of the day, you can sleep with who you want to sleep with. Do I think that potentially that could be off-putting to a guy? Yeah. I don't feel like your current man that's asking you is going to want to hear that it's that many. But then on the flip side of that, men's numbers are typically higher. So it's fight me in the comments if you don't agree. But typically men's numbers are higher. So it's kind of also like, why should you then have to pretend your number's lower? When if you were to probably ask your man, his is probably double that. I think that if a partner really loves her, if a partner really wants to be with her, then they would accept what she's her past and her past history. And I feel like she should just be honest so that it's not even more lies that they're telling each other. Like he's asked her, and she doesn't know if she should lie or not. Bro, if someone asks you a question and you say, I don't know if I should lie or not, I used, I know I showed it on the screen, but I contour with the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in shade Espresso. The way that this just applied was actually so good. Kind of shook it. Kind of shook. Never had a coloured liner. I mean, could it be more defined? Yes. <laughs> Am I going to correct it? No. Because I'm not an MUA. So no. it's okay, I'm not a moi. So it's gonna have to stay like this. Do you know what I mean? Um, no, but for real though, it went on really, really, really smoothly. Like I am extremely impressed with how soft this is. And I'm actually excited to see what color is gonna go best on my cheeks. This is. I'm Christian and my, my parents are Christian too. Very heavily so. I'm dating a Muslim man and I don't know how to tell them. I mean, I don't really, I personally don't think it's that deep. I don't, I don't think it's that deep. 
it says that you shouldn't be with someone who's unequally yoked and do you believe in the same God as you? So yes. So then I understand the idea of pleasing your parents. I'm someone that likes to date people that my family like and half the time they either don't or they grow to like them or I just accept it and it is what it is. But the, 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 the situation is that it's got nothing to do with anyone else other than the two people in a relationship if they choose to start a relationship with someone in another religion. It's not going to be easy to tell your parents, they're more than likely going to be annoyed, but guess what, it's actually your whole life. It's a big thing though. People who are religious, like people who actually do follow a religion or have a belief system, it is a very big thing to have something where I understand completely falling in love with someone who's not the same religion as you or didn't grow up in the same household as you, but it is a very big thing for your difference in beliefs to actually be carried out and to be practical. It's very easy for us to sit here and be like, oh yeah, it's fine, love is love. But at the same time, like practically speaking, for how they're gonna raise children, how they're gonna have a household, I'm not saying it's my business, but I'm saying like from someone who does follow a religion, it's, it's hard something to think about. You of course. To take it into, so I think she has to just be prepared for the way in which her parents are gonna react. I've been having an affair with a married man for three years. Should I tell his wife? I mean, if it's an affair, it's already a secret, so I feel like the answer to that is already a no. Why would you now tell his wife after three years? Um, I mean, if he was married to someone, would you wanna know? Because I would want to I'd wanna know from him. From... Yeah, but like, why are you telling me now? Maybe why why are you telling me now? I don't know and give him the opportunity to say something first, because I think you're right. I think I would want to hear that from my husband rather than the other woman. Yeah, 100%. Are you ending? Huh? Are Is you it ending? To end it? Because low key, if you're just telling me about an affair, but you just want to continue, but you just want me to know. No, the girl just wanted to get it off her chest. She just wants to get it off her chest. But if you're going to get it off your chest, you need to be ending it. For my highlighter, I'm using Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, Moscow, have you pronounced it? Oh my God, this is like got glitter everywhere. But I am probably gonna use a mixture of the two because it is quite pink and I don't want it to be too pink. Guys, um, I'm just gonna do the lips. So I don't have any lip liner by Fenty. So I'm just gonna use Mac Cork for the outline and I'm gonna try and use cheeks. I'm gonna attempt to use cheeks for the actual middle. I dated a, a man and then we broke up. Two years later, I dated his brother, but he doesn't know, should we tell him? Yes! How does he not know? Okay, honestly. <laughs> if my sister dated someone that I dated and didn't tell me, I would be very upset. There are quite literally billions, billions of men in this world that you actually don't need you do not need to date a brother. When I was younger, I fancied my ex's brother, but to date my ex's brother, I just think it's too far. Like you don't need to be doing that. It doesn't need to happen. Do you think he should be told? Yes. <laughs> Again, if my sister dated someone, she would never do that. But if my sister <laughs> she dated would never. Like my exes, yeah, my sister would never, but if she did, I would want to know. Cause that's just weird. Like you said, there's eight billion people. Is it seven billion? Eight billion people on the planet. On the planet. You couldn't find someone else today. I am gonna go in on my lips now. I've done my liner with summertime wine and rose latte. So basically, the two that I used on my cheeks, which actually turned out beautifully. Um, and I'm literally just gonna put them both on my middle finger and dab them in the middle of my lips. So I'm gonna put one on each finger though. Like I don't actually want to mix them together too much, and just dab them in the middle and see how that comes out. I stole shoes from my friend's house and then realised they weren't hers, they were someone else's. What should I do? People are just feisty, man. Like, sorry, I have to just deep it. Like, people are actually just feisty. Like, there's no need. Like, shoes are not that deep. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could have low-key just asked her to borrow them. There's some thieving situations going on here from all of us. So basically your whole friendship group are thieves. And that begs the question, are you guys friends? Plot twist. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, wait, I've got lipstick on my teeth. This actually came out 
a lot better than I'd ever anticipated. I think it's cute. Oh, come on. Guys, honestly, watch out to every other makeup brand because the fact that Rihanna can make such versatile products is just wild to me. Yes, my lips are now glossy, I forgot to say. I used the Gloss Sipper Gloss Bomb, which it's not um, clear anymore. Your girl has a habit of pulling it over her lip liner, but it's okay. It's Get into the skin, honey. I feel like this is gonna make my head look a weird shape, but it's okay, we move. To summarize what I've used, I used number eight and number 10 on my cheeks. Um, I also used number eight and number 10 on the center of my lips and then used my gloss bomb just to buff it out a little bit. So it might look a little bit brownie on camera, but in person it's got a little bit of a pink hue to it, which comes from summertime wine. So I'm obsessed with this lip. This might be like one of my go-tos. And then for my eyes, I used drama class in number seven to do a nice winged liner. And then on the bottom, I used daiquiri drip. So I just done like a slight red line underneath. I've started playing around with colour a lot more recently, like typically that's not my thing, but here we are, playing around with colour. I will see you in my next video, thank you so so much for watching, I love you guys, and stay blessed and positive, bye.